Hello, this is Ju. Hey, look what I have here. This is a digital radon detector. This is actually a home unit, so you can test radon gas levels in your home. So if you're not familiar with radon, well, radon is a gas that comes from the ground and is actually can cause uh, lung cancer. It's actually, I think, the number one cause of lung cancer um, after smoking. And especially if the gas itself bonds to, let's say, small microscopic particles, it could actually get into your lungs and uh, after many, many years could increase your risk uh, for lung cancer. And so many parts of the country are particularly susceptible to radon uh, in soils. Uh, the radon is actually a decay uh, product of uranium and uh, like uh, different types of rock like limestone, granite, or even some metamorphic rocks can um, have high levels of uranium and can create a lot of radon in the soil. This percolates up into your basements or crawl spaces and living areas and can be a big problem. There's a lot of uh, radon mitigation out there, but the number one step is to know if you have radon in your home. Now, there's many parts of the country that are more susceptible to radon based on the geology and the type of soil um, that create the gas. And here is a map that kind of show the radon hotspots throughout the country. Now, if you do live in one of these areas, it's not necessarily uh, the case that you have a radon issue, let's say in your basement, but you do want to test for radon. And there are a lot of home kits you can purchase that you can put into a basement or crawl space and then send away for testing. But the great thing about this particular unit, this is from Air Things, and it's a well-known uh, brand for uh, digital radon uh, detectors, is that just it's a little bit costly. I think it was around $150, $140 to purchase this, but you only have to purchase it once and you can move this around. You can do multiple tests. Uh, it will test after about 24 hours. It'll give you a reading and it'll also give you long-term readings. So let's go ahead and open this up and see what's in the box. Okay, so take in a box in a box. So open this up and there you go. This is the, the detector right there and it has a little peel off cover there. We'll go ahead and do that. Um, put this down and what do we have here? This is just a little bit of uh, let's see, this is some radon levels you can uh, might be concerned with uh, that if, if the detector is between about zero to two, then that's uh, better than let's say over four. So if anything, probably over two or over four on the, re on the meter, uh, you should really consider uh, some radon mitigation efforts. Okay, so it does come with instructions. Let's see, a couple of English versions, uh, some French and uh, Dutch. Uh, we're interested in the English version, so I'll look through this to see how it's set up. So I believe it runs on batteries and it does look like it has a little uh, like pull tab there. So I think it's just standard batteries, but let me open this up. Yes, indeed, it looks like three triple A's, but it, and it does come with some batteries. So all I have to do is pull this tab and I'll activate those batteries. But let me go ahead and read the instructions. So what I'm interested in is I, I am in an area of potential high radon concentrations. I'm concerned about my basement, but not just my basement. I don't really have living area in my basement. Um, but I do have a furnace down there, and anytime you have a furnace, you can get high levels of radon in a basement. Now, radon is about seven times heavier than air, and so it tends to sink, but air circulation can easily bring it up and into living areas of the home, especially if you have a uh, uh, forced air uh, furnace like I do in the basement, it could actually draw up the radon into living areas. So I want to use this device for a couple places in my basement and also bring it up to the first floor living area uh, to see if I uh, maybe I have high concentrations in the basement, but maybe it's not as bad in the first floor. Okay, so the instructions first say just to pull the tab. After I pull the tab of the battery, it will calibrate for about 30 seconds uh, and then it'll be ready for the readings. 
uh, it will give after about six to 24 hours, it will give a short-term reading, which is not as accurate as long-term. So they, the instructions kind of uh, don't want you to rely on the short-term reading. So maybe wait a few days with this in place to see if what the long-term trend is. So let's just go ahead and pull this tab if this will work. And then yes, indeed, it turns on. It should start a self-test and it's counting up. It's uh, CAL is calibration and it says a minimum of a, of a 50 count. So we'll just go ahead and wait for it to calibrate. And there you go. It looks like it's calibrated and you can see the long-term average here. It's just flashing right there because it hasn't really uh, um, it takes some time for it to actually read the re radon levels. It says one day there uh, for the short-term average. And uh, so from, from this uh, period on, I'm supposed to be placing this where I want to place it. Now I'm going to be placing it in the basement again. It should be about 20 inches off the ground and uh, several feet away from any doorways. So that, that's a couple of things. Uh, keep it away from sun and water and hopefully we'll get uh, a reading tomorrow and I'll check back to see what it looks like. So one thing to note is you'll see these little flashing lines. There were uh, I think four or five of them initially and now uh, we're down to two. So once these lines disappear we should get our first reading and again, it'll be about 24 hours. Okay, it's been a little after 24 hours and we do have a reading. Um, as you can see right here, we have a short-term reading. That's the bottom number of 0 0.51, which is actually pretty good. A lot lower than I expected, um, at least for this area. Uh, I'm already starting to get a long-term reading of 0 0.59, which is slightly higher, but it's really only been slightly over 24 hours. Uh, the little cheat sheet that the, the monitor gave, uh, anything under two is pretty good, uh, but again, it's the short-term reading. You really need the longer-term reading for maybe 48 or more hours to really have confidence in the number. So we'll get, we're gonna come back and see what it says tomorrow. Okay, so it's been a little over 48 hours, and so let's go ahead and check it again. And it looks like the short-term uh, radon level is at 0.43, which is even better than yesterday. And long-term, it's at 0.51. So it looks like the radon level in this basement is better than I thought, and it doesn't look like I have much to be concerned about. So I do think I'm going to be moving this uh, radon detector around the basement and maybe in the house a little bit just to verify the results. Uh, but it looks like I'm at least in good shape right now. Uh, before I move this, I am going to hit the reset button at the back so I can reset the whole thing from short term and long term uh, to get some accurate results. But hey, if this video helped you out, I hope it did, please hit that like button at the bottom of the screen and even consider subscribing to my channel. I have many more videos to come. Bye-bye.